What is up you guys? Today I'm back with the mukbang and I have KFC. So let me tell you, I was having problems with this KFC. Like I had first went to KFC and I got grilled and I got mashed potatoes because I'm like, let me let me try not to get any fried food. Because usually I get original or crispy with the potato wedges. But I was just trying to be good. I was trying to be good for this mukbang. Tell me why when I got home and I started recording everything, I opened it up, they gave me chicken this big for one. For one. And I don't like to complain about food, but it's food. And they gave me chicken this big. So then I'm still trying to like go with the video or whatever. I go to eat it. It's the driest, nastiest. I don't know how long that chicken has been sitting there, but you can't tell me y'all just made that. Like who knows how long that chicken was sitting there. It was so freaking dry. And so, uh-uh, I had to go back. And this time I got crispy with some potato wedges, but they also let me keep my mashed potatoes from earlier. So I got mashed potatoes and I never eat the cookie. I give it to my son and I don't, I don't eat the biscuit. I don't really care for bread. I don't really eat a lot of bread. But yeah, that was giving me problems, y'all. That was giving me problems. Anyways, I want to talk about something that I'm starting to see. Like... I don't know if it's going to be the, the new common thing or what, but I am literally starting to see, and you know what, my sister just did it last weekend. She just did it, which is proposing to your man. I guess women nowadays are taking it upon themselves, like, if he ain't going to put a ring on me, I'm going to put a ring on him. And I want to know how y'all feel about that, honestly, because I'm going to keep it real about how I feel about it. And me personally, I can't like I can't like I understand like when my sister did like everyone was like you savage you boss and I'm like congrats to see like I'm so happy for her I'm happy for her I'm like girl we're gonna have to go out and do celebration drinks and stuff like I'm happy for her she's now engaged she was just like if he won't do it girl I would and he said yeah but how I feel about that is like me personally and a lot of a lot of people well a lot of women like we grow up and that's one of our dreams you know that's one of our fairy tales you know our fairy tale ending a man getting down on that knee and and proposing to us that's something that we we look forward to in life you know and when it's like now it's gonna be the opposite of women proposing to the man like is it uh, is it going to be the same feeling? Like, do you honestly think... I don't think that it's going to be the same feeling, personally. Like, when a woman proposed to a man, I'm, I'm, I'm li literally, in my head, I'm literally imagining, like, yeah, sure, yeah, shouty, <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Like, but when a woman get proposed to from a man, it's like, we break down. It's like, oh my god, the ugly crying, the, all that stuff like that stuff that we can't wait to do that stuff we want to do but when you ask the man is it is it the same like honestly is it the same is it like yeah i did like how is it is it that will a man feel the same way have the same emotion as a woman would vice versa you know what i'm saying me personally i could never i could never propose to a man because that's something I dreamed of my whole life. I didn't dream like, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to ask this man to marry me. Like, and men don't think like that. They don't think as kids, I can't wait till that girl put a ring on me. Like, no. Like, if you if you real life love your man and you want to propose, you feel like it's the new day and new year, you know, it's now 2018. You know, girl, do you, I'm all for it. Get it, sis. You know what I'm saying? But, I just want to know how some of y'all men feel out there about your woman proposing to you. I talked about it at work and one of my coworkers said he would feel less of a man if a woman proposed to him. He even spoke about he would have to say yeah even if he wasn't ready. Which is something to me that's kind of crazy because you know what's common well it's not common but you hear about it quite a bit is that men 
leave women at the altar. Not all the time. A whole lot of men go through with it and they get their wifey. But there are some cases where men leave their women at the altar. They disappear. They get cold feet. And that's when they ask the woman. So if now if all these women are going around asking men, I feel like that percentage of men leaving women at the altar, it's going to go up. A lot of men that get out of there and disappear because they're not ready. I feel like that's going to happen quite a bit if women just start proposing all the time. If that's something that's starting to be common. I don't know. I'm not trying to be like ignorant to the situation because, you know, like I said, my sissy did it and I'm like, get it, sis. I can't wait to be at that wedding. I can't wait to have fun. I can't wait to help her plan. You know what I'm saying? But I want to know how y'all women feel out there. Do y'all feel like, you know what? I'm finna just do it. Like, I'm about to propose to my man. And then what? What if he only saying yeah to not hurt your feelings? And what if you keep pushing back the wedding? Oh, no, no, baby, next year. Oh, wait, no, no, baby, next year. Next year. How long before you realize this man ain't ready? You sat there and you got ready. You bought him a ring. He didn't buy you one and he ain't ready. That would hurt my heart. And I think that's why it's something I would never do. I literally don't know. Like, I just don't think it will feel the same. I like that emotion. I like the crying. I like all that. And I don't I don't see it happening if a if a if a woman proposes, baby. Will you marry me? How do you do it? Do you get on with me? Do you just do you just ask the, the man across the table? Hey, baby. I have a thing about this. You ain't asked me, so it's like, what's up? I don't know. I'm like I'm still old fashioned. I still want I'm in a relationship, but you know, I still want a man to ask me on a date. Not just like hey, let's kick it. I still want the door held open for me. I don't get that. I mean, if I've been done that a couple of times, and that's the one I have like stuff in my hand. Not just because, you know. I still kind of want that old school stuff, and I'm not. I understand times has changed, but I still want that old school love, like dates and. Shoot, what happened to when you get a girl pregnant? Y'all get married. What happened to that? You know how many people out there got kids and ain't married? Shoot, I'm one of them. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really care how a man does it. I don't care if it was out of the blue, if it wasn't even planned. He just, we walked into the mall one day to get some shoes. He looked at a ring and he like, baby, let's do this. It don't matter if it's romantic or not. I still, I still want a man to look at me and be like, ma'am, I can't live without this girl. I, I want to make this girl my wife. That's what I want. I want him to love me for me. And I want him to marry me because he wants to. Not because I want him to. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how relationships and stuff don't last. That's how men get ghosted on that ass. Like, that's what happens. That's what happens. And I'm not saying, like, I wish bad things on my sissy and her marriage, you know, her marriage. So she's now engaged. I wish her the best. You know, I talked to somebody, they said, yeah, this girl proposed to her man. I mean, they've been happy for 13 years. You know what I'm saying? So it happens. It happens. I'm just wondering, is it that time now? Has times changed that much to where women are now proposing to their men? Because if so, I'm going to be honest from jump, it's not going to be me. So I'm going to let a man know, which my man knows now. If we're not going to get married, we're wasting our time. If you're not going to ask me, you're wasting your time. Don't waste my time. Because that's what I want. And that's what I'm working towards. And that's what I'm building towards. I'm not working and bidding towards asking you. I'm not. Maybe I'm just scared of rejection. I don't know, but it it's just not me. It's not me and I can't do it. But if you are out there, a woman out there who's like, yeah, I'll propose to my man. Or yeah, I propose to my man and we're good. Like, please leave a comment below. Like, I don't want to hear these stories. But and I want to know how you got the courage. What made you sit there and think like, man, he won't do it. So I will. You know, he won't make that move, so I will. 
If that's the case, if I feel like he don't make that move, I'll have that conversation with him. Like, where do you see us going? Do you see us getting married, having kids? If not, you know, maybe we should rethink about this. But, yeah. Okay, then we got, you know, we, we working with something. But I don't, I, I, I want to know what made you in your head, if you have done it or if you thought about doing it. What made, what made you just sit there like, I want to marry this man. So if he won't marry me, I'm going to marry him. If he won't ask me, I'm going to ask him. Yeah, you put hella gravy in here. It's like all gravy. You know, you eating all gravy and like this much mash. But it did, no, that that conversation honestly like had me, my mom, and my stepdad and everybody arguing. And, my, and it seemed like my man was on the other side like yeah she you know she wanted her man so she went and got her man that i understand if you want your man you go get your man girl but i'm letting him know like when that conversation was going i looked at him and i was like i'm not doing it i'm not doing it because i don't want to feel like i'm pressuring you into something you know like or i only married her because she asked but i wasn't ready and later on you know we're getting a divorce because you were just doing something to make me happy at the time i want you to be a hundred percent it's like, I want to be 100% before we get there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just going to sit there and not fully know, like, where we're at in life. Because I got to think about everything. I just feel like it may be a lot of broken hearts. Because what man will say no? Like, think about it. What man will say no? You walk in, your girl got rose petals, candles, chocolate cups, and strawberry. Um, she done wrote your name and and something i don't know maybe like on a whiteboard or whatever i love you baby come to the room balloons flower like she done went all out she done made a romantic you know and she asked you you ain't gonna be like nah you gonna be like yeah baby even if you're not ready it's like yeah baby so you're gonna put that man in a situation where it's like he's not ready now i understand if y'all sat there and y'all had the conversation he said he's ready you ready but he ain't pulled that trigger yet, so you like, I'm gonna pull this trigger. Okay, but if women just start proposing, I don't know how that's gonna work. I hope it work out. I really do. I really hope it work out. What I'm thinking about doing is bringing like daily dilemmas to my freaking channel. Well, the radio station I listen to every day they have people who call in with their problems and they need advice and somebody's calling me wow my baby daddy now dating my cousin what should i do so what i want to start doing whatever the topic is that day just make sure i like write it down or whatever and bring it to my channel and talk about it and how i would handle the situation or if my friend was going through the same situation how would i give her advice and that way it's giving me stuff to uh, to really just listen to like there are stuff more stuff to add to my channel because I really want it to be like an everyday channel or at least every three days I at least want to start uploading a lot more than I do now because this once a week I don't mean to do it once a week like it literally happens like that there's times i come home i want the men to be down in the comment section down below too and i want you to tell me would you would you want your girl propose well like my coworker, would you feel less of a man if your girl took it in her hands to propose well i put the bags in her hands to propose y'all this fry is good the fried chicken uh, is bomb. I had to stop eating KFC for a while because the last time wasn't good at all. And it really bothered my stomach. It bothered my stomach for like two days. I'm like, I'm going to stop eating that junk. And today this junk is good. Like this video, go down into the comment section down below. Tell me what you thought about the topic of the day. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, you guys. I'm out.